hello guys welcome and welcome back to the channel it's a girl sarah here again so in today's video guys i'm going to be sharing with you quite a few south african words that are so similar to swahili so first of all i am a congolese i'm born in congo raised half in congo and half here in south africa so in congo guys we have so many languages like i can't even start naming them right now because i would never finish that's how much it is it's a lot guys so in my house, we speak Lingala, we speak French, we speak Swahili because my parents, they are Swahili. So when my parents, they are communicating between the two of them, they speak in Swahili. So I know a bit of Swahili. I'm not really good, but when people are talking or they, you know, they're talking, I can understand what they're saying. I can also reply and say, but I'm not really fluent, but I can defend myself a bit in Swahili. So when I moved here in South Africa, guys, when I was listening to South Africans speaking their language, first, I didn't hear a thing. Like it was Chinese to me first time when I was listening to them talking. I didn't hear a thing like zero. But the more I was close to them, the more I was paying attention to what they were saying. Most of the words were so familiar to me. I'm like this is Swahili like when they are talking it's like I'm understanding even though I don't really get what they're trying to say it's like I'm understanding what they're trying to say because most of the words are in Swahili that's why it's very easy when someone who speaks Swahili comes here in South Africa it's very easy for them to know South African language especially Zulu it's very very easy for them if they just like pay attention for them to learn it's not gonna take them long for them to learn South African languages because most of the words that are in Swahili it's also in South African languages. My mom speaks Swahili and my mom can communicate in Zulu. Her accent can be a little bit Frenchy, Lingala type of, but when they are talking to her in Zulu, she understands and she can also respond. She's not really very fluent, but like you can tell her something and she will reply to you. She will understand what you're trying to say. Like it's very, very easy. So today I wrote quite a few words that I know that are very similar to Zulu. So the thing is, I'm not really going to know which one is, is it zulu is it kosa is it spady like i'm not really gonna know but i know it's a south african word so i'm going to like say the word it's also in south african language it's also in swahili and say the meaning of it in swahili so it's a bit of that guys so before going further with the video it's your first time watching my video welcome to the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and if you are returning to my channel welcome back and thank you so much for your support and please don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll be very very honored to welcome in my family without wasting your time and let's go to the video so the first word that came into my mind guys so the first word that i heard was kanisa so kanisa in swahili it's church kanisa church here in south africa it's someone's name like first time that i heard kanisa it was someone's name and in Swahili it's church so I don't know the meaning of Kanisa here in South Africa what is the meaning of it but in Swahili it's church and the second word guys I wrote a few so I'll be just looking at my notes because this is you know so the second name is second word is Onipe so Onipe in Swahili it's give me so it's the same also here, unipe, give me. So in Swahili, unipe, here also, unipe, give me. And the next one is aiko, aiko. Aiko in Swahili, like, it's not there, there's nothing like aiko. Same meaning, like it's the same meaning in South Africa, same meaning in Swahili as well, like aiko, like there's nothing, aiko, you know. And the next one is letter. Letter, give. Letter, la, give. Same meaning as well in Swahili. Like, letter, give. Even here in South African language, letter, give. It's the same meaning, guys. Like, 
we family guys we family you know like we won you know somewhere somehow if we have to check we all family guys we all family and the next one is mvula so when it comes to mvula here it's rain they said imvula even in swahili mvula it's mvula it's rain it's the same thing guys like when it comes to mvula there's vula like open in swahili even here also like vula like open vula so it's it's also the same thing there's imvula which is rain even in swahili it's mvula mvula and vula like open same thing also in swahili like vula like guys the next one is okay this one like everybody knows it like everybody knows this one akuna matata so akuna matata is in swahili like akuna matata everybody knows this one like even if you ask a kid do you know akuna matata yes so akuna matata it's in swahili so here i don't know if you put it in it's a zulu word it's a kosa i don't know but in my language it's akuna matata it's in swahili like there's no problem there's no problem same meaning like you write it the same everything the same guys so the next one is so the next ones are very very close you don't write it the same but it sounds the same like when someone is saying it it's very easy for you like to just get the point you know so the next one is mie mie it's mie in swahili it's me in south african languages it's mina so in zulu or south african language it's mina so weye it's wena so it's mie which is mina weye it's wena like it's, it's very close like it's very close guys and the next one is yako like yako yako yos yako like it's the same in swahili as well like yako this is yako like yako guys <laughs> and the next one is buya buya like come buya buya la buya buya in swahili we say kuya here they say buya in swahili they say kuya so it's very close buya and kuya like guys and the next one is okay this one it's a little bit different the way you write it here they say hlala in swahili they say ikala you see hlala ikala like sit down hlala ikala it's very close guys like it's very close and the next one okay those ones like it's the same guys it's the same umama in swahili they say mama ubaba in swahili they say baba so mama it's mama ubaba it's baba like it's it's the same like the same meaning you write it the same everything is the same and next one is amanzi here it's water in swahili it's man mai here manzi in swahili it's mai like it's very very similar like there's a lot of words that are very similar they're very close so this is a few that when i was writing that came into my mind guys but whenever my zulu it's not bad at all like it's not bad at all i can really defend myself in zulu like i can explain to you something and you understand my accent it's not you know it's still going to be not something that you really want to hear but you will understand what i'm trying to say you will know that i'm saying this is and that and i will say it in zulu you know guys my zulu it's not bad at all i can even make a video guys from start to end in zulu for you guys to see that i'm not bad at all like 
I'm not bad. And my Swahili also is not bad. Like, my Swahili is not bad at all. Like, I can defend myself. I can speak Swahili. When someone is speaking Swahili, I will understand and I will reply to them. Because when it comes to Swahili, we have two different Swahili. Like, we have two types of Swahili. We have the Tanzania Swahili and the Kisangani Swahili. So my parents speak Kisangani Swahili, which is a bit like softer. It's not really hard. Tanzania Swahili, it's a little bit difficult. Like that's a little bit deep, you know. Like when a Tanzanian speaking Swahili, it can a little bit like be difficult to me. But when someone from Kisangani is speaking Swahili, I will know, I will understand because it's like easy for me to hear, easy for me to understand, you know. So, yeah, guys, that was a little bit that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you on my next video.